This is AntiTube. In this video, I want to show you how to remove this uh, brown knob from a Rocketeer sewing machine when it is uh, stuck and it won't come off uh, in the normal fashion. I've had many uh, emails and comments about this, especially since this pandemic started and people have been pulling out um, family machines and buying machines for sewing and so forth and uh, you know a 60 year old machine it's not uncommon that the tension is dirty or has a weak or broken spring and needs some work and it can be quite frustrating uh, when this happens but I found a little solution for you um, so this is a 503A Rocketeer and uh, the one with the big gold knob and so forth that's the 500a rocketeer and they both have this same um, tension unit like this now normally um, when you're going to take this off uh, you want to be sure that the presser bar is down so that uh, there's no tension pushing back on the spring inside and you want to turn it to the stop all the way left, which would be like uh, zero tension, okay? And you, you would look around the knob and find a little tiny set screw. It's a, little, it's a very little guy. <laughs> um, and if you can get to it in this position, uh, fine. If, if it's someplace hard to get to, go ahead and turn it back or turn it around till you find the little set screw. In my experience it's been over here at about three o'clock and uh, so we're going to loosen this two or three turns. We don't need to take it out. Um, just loosen it off of the flange inside. Uh, if you do take it out uh, pr um, protect it well because it's very easy to lose. Now what is supposed to happen is that with this screw loose or out you grasp this brown uh, knob here and it's supposed to pull it's supposed to pull off, there it goes, it's supposed to pull off of the flange like that. Okay so here, here you see the flange that is screwed onto the stud that, you know, adjusts the pressure. And uh, this is the, like a numerated dial, right? And uh, what is, and, and then if, if you want, you, you just unscrew, uh, you know, take the flange off and disassemble and clean or replace parts and, put it back together. I have a video about this unit and I'll put a link to it at the end of this video and in the description below the video. Okay, so if you want to see all about the rest of the thing. But here's the problem. Uh, sometimes this just will not come off. You, you loosen the screw or take it out and you pull and pull and pull and, and, and it, it's just stuck on there. Now, sometimes the way this one was, um, it's just some oil and stuff has gotten in there and dried up and it's very hard and it's kind of like gluing the two pieces together. So you can heat it up with a hair dryer. You can put a little bit of WD-40, uh, some kind of penetrating oil or alcohol. I lean the machine back and put it, put it in there and uh, sometimes those kind of things will loosen it enough but I've had a few that no matter what I have done I cannot get the pieces apart so here is how a workaround I found for that okay you you find a small screwdriver that will fit in the opening um, or you know here's a little spring pusher metal uh, here's a here's a bicycle spoke, you know, something stiff that will fit in there. Uh, you can use a little tension screwdriver like this, but you have to be careful when you use this. OK, 
because you you can hurt the stop washer inside and I'll show you why so uh, this is a you know little dollar screwdriver but you put it in here now your slot on the stud should be horizontal and you're going to put the screwdriver into that slot and you, and you want to hold it level not you know up or down and what you're going to be doing is pushing against the crossbar of the stop washer and you're going to be pushing it back against the beehive spring inside and that's why you want to be sure this is down your pressure foot's down so you, you see I'm getting a springy action there okay so you just want to push it back uh, I, I don't I don't know it doesn't take much like a sixteenth of an inch or uh, an eighth you push it back and now you can turn this and once it turns just a little bit it's past the stop finger of the stop washer and you can just go ahead and unscrew it okay now uh, normally as I said, you, you'll be on, it'll be stuck in here. It's just uh, in here and it won't come out. So once you push that back, you can turn this and both pieces will just unscrew and you have it off. Okay? So what, what you're doing is if you, if you see in here, and I hope this will show up in the light here. And I get some more light. Uh, inside these uh, numerated dials on most of these singers, there's a little uh, pin that sticks up. Do you see it up there at the top under my index finger? It's just a little nub that sticks out a little bit. And, I, you know, I call it the stop post or stop pin. And what that is made to do is... Uh, when you're turning the dial, it hits against the side of this little finger on the stop washer. So when you turn it to zero, it comes around and hits. If you're turning your tension all the way up to nine, it'll hit the other way. And that is made, whoop, that's made just so that it, you don't turn it off, <laughs> you know, twist it right off. But in this case, you want it off. Okay, so that's the theory. And when you're sticking this, uh, um, you know, screwdriver or something in here, you're, you're pushing that beehive spring and therefore the stop washer with its stop finger, you're pushing it back a little bit away from that uh, little stop button or stop uh, pin that sticks out in there so you're pushing it back and once you just turn it past that point you can keep unscrewing it okay and I'm just going to show you this little stop washer and uh, it's the stop washer for two reasons uh, here's the crossbar that goes into the stud and this stops the spring from coming out when you lift up the foot things like that we'll call the stop washer because of the little stop finger that stops the numerated dial okay so you, so and of course here's your beehive spring and like I said I have a I have a whole video about working on this so that is the purpose now uh, some other ways I have gotten this piece out of there is once it's off it's easier to work with so I've soaked it in alcohol I've soaked it in penetrating oil heated it I even a couple times like boiled a little tiny pot of water and threw it in there for a minute or two sometimes that works but again I probably had a half dozen of these that no, no matter what I did I couldn't get it off and I don't know if it's because the two different types of metal or if it just expands from being on screwed on the stud I, I don't know if you can't get this 
two pieces separated, you can still zero out the tension unit when you reassemble it. It just takes a little bit longer. In the other video I mentioned, I show take it apart, put it back together, and zero out the tension. And you can still do that. You just have to um, put, put your stuck pieces back on there. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this screw so it will be the same as being stuck together. Okay? Because you got to get it nice and level to get that flange started. There we go. Okay, so normally this wouldn't be off and you'd be turning the flange and you down zero and you would you you push back on the spring and stuff and you get to uh, a point you think the tension is about right with the flange and then you're going to run your thread through here and pull on it and so that when it's at zero, it barely, you know, it just lifts this up a little bit. Not a lot of tension. Okay. And to get it that way, you would usually turn the flange. And when it's set, you would slide this on and tighten the screw. So without that uh, being able to separate, when you, when you want to add more tension to zero it out, you've got to do the same thing. You've got to push in between that stud on that tension washer, get it back a little bit, turn it a little more to tighten the tension flange, let it go, and then, uh, you know, test until you get it uh, set where you want. Okay. It has to, at some point, you're going to have it tight enough. See, there's the two up. So that I know the stop button is over here. I'm going to push it back. Go ahead and tighten it to where you think you're going to get your zero out tension. Okay then release it and check. See, I'm not hitting that pin. So I know I'm not far enough in yet. There. Zero, it stops. And all the way around, it stops. So I know I've, I've got the uh, pin and finger set up. One thing you have to be careful of is if you tighten this too much, you can't push the spring back anymore to get to get that stop finger past the knob on here, and and it will be all stuck together. Okay, so it's worth it to work on getting uh, getting those two pieces to separate. The other thing that you can do if you're going to be working on this is the set screw that holds the stud is right here in the front. Very, very easy to put a, put a screwdriver on that and go ahead and turn it left. <clears throat> Very easy. <laughs> oh man, is that stuck? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's. Um, I shouldn't have been trying to do this with a regular tapered screwdriver. So I'll get one of my hollow ground screwdriver tips that that fits it better. I don't want to strip out that screw. I get my little mini ratchet here and what I'm saying is that you can remove the whole unit is what I'm trying to show you and then it's easier to work on okay still doesn't want to come out mm -hmm.
I think this is a good example of why I like the the 401 403 tension unit better. I've even thought about replacing the Rocketeer one with one of those. I'm going to try this once more. Whew. Now see, I could have put some penetrating oil on there and so forth, but I, I just wanted to show you this. So you back that screw out a ways, and then the idea is you should be able to wiggle this and pull it out. So you can get the whole tension unit out here and soak the whole whole thing to clean it and to work on it and so forth. Okay, so that's that's the general idea of working on that stuck brown knob. <laughs> so if you're fortunate and you went to, to disassemble your tension unit on your Rocketeer and this you loosen the set screw and the brown knob came right off you know you're not even going to be here watching this video right <laughs> because it all it all works so well for you but uh, just in case it didn't that is how you can get it off and uh, keep soaking it or cleaning it or doing because if you can get them separated it's the best thing recently a viewer on, on my uh, tension unit video for this Dewey Gross he he uh, commented to me about this it stuck and I told him this method and he said it worked great and he thanked me and he said what he did um, if I got it right he found a like a small socket that would fit um, uh, on the inner flange but would would fit inside and somehow he put a socket and he put it on a bench vise he said and he was able to push push it out you know separate it that way then that's how he got it apart so that was a really creative idea I, I'd never thought of that okay that's it how to get the brown knob off of your Rocketeer sewing machine needle thread tension unit huh. okay that was kind of fun making that video it's been October since I made one I'm in between uh, treatments right now and I got a lot of questions about this so I wish I'd have been able to make it before but here it is thanks for watching uh, happy holidays whatever your holiday and I hope we all have a just wonderful 2021 we are so ready for a new year. Okay? Take care.